the Gooderham building, or some of us call it the Flatiron building because it's pretty much a miniature version of the one in uh, New York City. And we're here in probably one of the oldest parts of Toronto in the St. Lawrence neighborhood. This is where Wellington Street begins and ends and pretty much merges onto or off of Front Street here. And hey, what's up guys? Uh, Alex here. I wasn't sure uh, what I wanted to do now because I've been spinning around in circles. I filmed my first elevator video in weeks. But I've been here in downtown Toronto for about an hour. And it's just after 3.25 p.m. So beginning a rush hour in Canada's biggest city. And yeah, this is kind of a last minute idea I had in mind to make a walking video here along Wellington Street. Uh, here in the downtown core. It was raining this morning, but the sun has finally come out. But it won't last for long because the rain's going to come back tonight. So we got pigeons fighting each other, as you can see here. And it's been a while since I've... Uh, whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's freaking insane. But... Uh, they just, uh, I believe they just added uh, the streetcar track here to to uh, turn around 501 Queen streetcars because construction on the main line. So essentially, like, they loop via Church, Wellington, then up to York, then King. This is Birchsey Park here. It's where they have the famous dog fountain that everybody loves. See, look, there's a, there's a lady there. She's a... Uh, or is it a guy? I can't even tell. One of them. Yeah, using a professional camera, get, getting some shoots done. And everybody's enjoying themselves on this Monday late afternoon. Today being the 27th of May, 2024. It's the last week of May. June is coming up. And then, what do you know? We'll be halfway through the freaking year. So yes, indeed, time flies by so fast. I just can't believe it. I'm of course, you know, I've been making great strides with my channel, making money and getting more views, of course. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I make a lot of walking videos around Toronto and the GTA. I also talk about urban planning, the disadvantages of strodes, and get together with other people that have the same hobby as me. Yes, I just filmed my first elevator in weeks. It was a it was a modern one. It was kind of nice right inside this uh, building here as we're crossing Scott Street, which turns into Victoria. I had filmed a walking video uh, along that street back in... Uh... Sorry, it wasn't, even, it wasn't even too long ago. It was on a f Friday night with uh, Henry. And then, uh, and then some stupid asshole decided to, uh, decided to interrupt the both of us and say, I don't want to be on your fucking camera. Yeah, shut the fuck up, buddy. You're in public. I kept my cool that time. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't, but uh, I'm a sensitive guy. It's my autistic brain here. I did film a streetcar ride earlier today. And that brings me to this point. I did not take the subway at all downtown today. All I took was the 168 Symington to Dundas West. And I just took the streetcar all the way down. I took the long way into downtown. And I do have some video plans. I want to go to Markham and the rest of the suburbs. But I'm probably going to have to hold down. I'm going to have to hold off on one of my plans because uh, just timing, the weather, even though I could actually get to, even though I could actually take the go bus a lot faster than taking, lo than taking uh, local transit. This is Young Street here. And they are doing a lot of construction here, repaving the road. But also, most importantly, up there, they closed a couple of lanes up Young due to the construction of elevators at the nearby King subway station. And now we're on Wellington Street West. And again, I have <laughs> nothing better to do than to just come downtown as always and visit the same freaking streets, neighborhood, places. I just don't have any better ideas. What does that guy walking towards me look like Cousin Andrew? What does it look like him? Yeah, 
But yeah, streetcars uh, never really used to run along Wellington Street uh, pretty much around the, pretty much as long as I can remember. As we're passing by the Brookfield Place. It's a very nice complex, which consists of the TD Trust Tower and the Bay Wellington Tower. Man, it's been so long since I filled an elevator. It's a good thing I got mine in there. Uh, got one uh, today. And I think I'll travel to North York just for a quick... Sorry, just for a very, very quick visit to film at least two elevators. I'll just head back home. Nice and sunny at 19 degrees Celsius. Almost summer. Here's Bay Street, which literally cuts down through the uh, financial district. This is where any, this is pretty much where everyone comes here down here to work. Commute from the suburbs. Would even host a lot of people coming in from like other countries because we're a global city we do very well with global trades exports money you know what that's the uh royal bank plaza all of Canada's biggest banks are headquartered right here. I don't know if this is a good thumbnail. We'll see. Last time I filmed a walking video on the street. Might have been last year, but did I walk in the other direction? I really cannot remember. But either way, it's been so long since I've done that. I'm not really sure how I noticed how I didn't notice this uh, pedestrian bridge connecting the TD Tower to this uh, to another one here. And some people are starting to break out of work, grab something to eat, grab a coffee, and then head home with the subway or go train. Union Station is pretty much behind me here. That's probably where this whole entire group of people are heading to. What did I do yesterday? Oh yeah, I went back to Scarborough. I filmed uh, three bus rides. It's two in Scarborough and then one near near to near to home. It was all right. Even though I had to take the freaking shuttle bus. Actually, both times it was on an OG diesel. So it was a big win, but coming back, we got stuck in so much damn traffic after Victoria Park Station, and then we took at least it took at least fifteen minutes. It took 15 minutes just to uh, turn onto the freaking Danforth. So that's what happens when the subway is closed. Of course, uh, the main reason why they do that is to perform important track upgrades, maintenance, signal work, you name it. But uh, yeah, this, I just had to get off at main, main, main station and just walk. <laughs> so I couldn't take it anymore. And it was a good thing I stopped my video at Victoria Park in time for the traffic. I didn't really want it to be it so long anyway. Whatever, I'm satisfied though. I'm really socking up on more transit content. You know what? Here's York Street. Looks kind of, I can see a little bit of traffic up ahead. Yeah, people still drive downtown, and they're always they're always like risking themselves just to get stuck in freaking traffic. That's why everybody that's why everybody decides to just commute with uh, public transit, and that's actually the a better way. Actually, TTC used to be called the better way. 
Well, everybody's so debate. Everybody's so freaking debatable over that old slogan. And that's University Avenue. Of course it's busy. Of course. Never ending. That's an Eldorado uh, bus on the uh, Billy Bishop Airport shuttle. I believe it's a free shuttle. The only problem is that the windows are tainted. Or it's just every window is just... Well, because of the, the wrap, you can't really see through. Yeah, look here, guys. Look here. So damn busy. Like, who the hell would want to drive down here? Even people... All, you know, even people always tell me, driving down here is a no, is a no go because it's always it's always a shit show. Like, who wants to who wants to do that? Even even my cousin Andrew, who drives, can't stand driving downtown. So there's an entrance to the path, which is uh, closed right now. But uh, what do you expect? Construction. All right. So uh, moving on here. I was just hanging around here with, uh, well, just a block south of here along front. Grand Starbucks of Liam. And we just walked with Henry Sapan. I had a chocolate chip muffin from uh, Tim's in the Bay Adelaide Center. It was really good. And here's Simcoe coming up. I really love the color and the reflection of this... Uh, Office building looks very 80s. Though unfortunately, I doubt it has some nice elevators in there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, when I when I was filming elevators almost every day and posting them to the channel, almost all of them was just like old vintage or just slightly revamped. There's some modern one modern ones I like, but uh, all the time I focus on that. And I think David Pico Square is on here. It is. There's a famous Roy Thompson Hall with its circular design opened in 1982. I'm not sure if that's for me or whatever. He literally, <laughs> holy shit, he literally like flipped both of his fingers. He did this. He seriously did this. I, I'm pretty sure it's for me. I am pretty fucking sure it's for me. Whatever. Was Maybe it was Henry doing that. <laughs> well, maybe if Henry was with me, he'd probably have a much bigger reaction. Wow. People are paranoid sometimes. Alright, there's the... Uh, What's this? That's the Ritz Carlton here. Hey, we got a group of pigeons once again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this, uh, this hotel here is, uh, Brand new. I have a feeling it was built in the mid 2010s. Oh, there's the uh, there's the CBC building here. That's Metro Hall, but this is pretty much where the city does a lot of its uh, financial operations here. My grandpa used to work here. Wow. All right. Oh, there's a tower. There's the, there's the freaking tower. I mean, I could actually use my library card just to get in there for free among uh, other attractions. But you have to reserve a, you have to reserve a uh, freaking spot online. I mean, I went up there two years ago, but I could see myself going up there at sunset. 
I'd have to look, I'd have to uh, pick a nice clear day, you know, just to uh, take, you know, take it in, you know. Oh, yeah, Metro Hall is right here. And is that, yeah, it is John, that's John. This is a little bit of an ugly building, but I went in there once. Went in there once. So this street actually ends just a bit shy of a Spadina. Because of the uh, Clarence Square Park. And then it resumes uh, on the other side at Spadina itself. Hi. Wow. Okay, well, at least the traffic is not. There's barely anybody here, too. Oh, they have one of these. These heating lamps here, I think it's during winter or when people are dining out here at, uh, at night. Oh, and there's uh, another Marriott hotel here. It's also right next to a hydro. What does it say here? It says... It says Windsor Station. I think I'm, that must be an old uh, historic building here. There's no loitering when there's this guy literally uh, freaking standing outside. And now this is just all uh, apartments and uh, all that jazz. Oh, this is Windsor Street. That's why. Okay. Windsor Street. And there's the uh, Sky Dome. Windsor is actually a city in uh, just uh, three and a half uh, hours away from here, right next to uh, Detroit. USA. It's also a city a bit west of uh, London, England. I think that's where the royal family lives. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I mean, those guys from Pennsylvania. And I think after that, I'm probably going to hop on the, the freaking streetcar. But I could go either way and go down to Union and hop on the subway. Or I can go up to Spadina. I have no idea which is better. Oh, you can see the tower's reflection. Yeah, see, look, look at all the fucking tents over there. Almost every fucking time I pass by this park, there's, al there's, al there's always, like... 10 or more of those uh, tents. Ridiculous. Almost every single freaking park downtown has them. What a shame. Anyway, uh, what it is, this is the... Yeah, you can see the uh, reflection here. And this is a... This is a three-phase signal. I always hate those, but it didn't take long. As we're crossing Blue Jays Way. I walk a little slower here. Give myself and the chick some space. Oh, this looks like a that name looks Italian to me. Oh, look, the street even has some... Only this small stretch of Wellington has some Montreal-style bike lanes here. I've, I've literally seen them in uh, Montreal before. And just so I'm not going to get too close uh, to all the tents there. Oh, wow, that looks nice. That looks nice. I think it's a Maserati, right? 
It's gotta be wine. Looks like wine. I think I saw the name like for that. Yeah, there it goes. I think my dad would like that. Yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get to the subway now since I'm all the way here. But, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, nope, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as always. Stay tuned for more videos. And, uh, yeah, check out ours as well. Don't be a dick like, like that guy in the car. Wow. Anyway, guys, take care. Adios. And uh, see you on the next one. Keep your second in the eyes. Bye-bye.